This week we've been staying at Lake Pleasant. It's one of the Maricopa County Regional Parks. And this is actually our last of the five parks that we've stayed at this month. And unfortunately, unlike last spring, we won't be back again. I don't know if this is, I wouldn't rank this as my favorite of the parks. Um, only because of the, the campgrounds are kind of closer together and such. And you know, you're up on the hill, so the weather you know, when we were here, it's been pretty cool because of that. You get a lot of wind. But I imagine, you know, if you're here more in the springtime, it's right. a lot nicer, especially if you can use the water. I mean, the biggest draw to this campground is the water. Uh, exactly. And, exactly. And if you want to see us kayaking on the, the Lake Pleasant here, go to the video, which I will link up someplace above us, and you can check out that video from last year. historic downtown area of Wilkinsburg, Arizona. Yeah, there's a lot of little shops and stores and restaurants and such. You can pick up one of these little flyers at most of the places, so that one, that way, and it'll tell you what's down here. Make sure you don't miss any of the little streets because it is kind of spread out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's a neat little town. Yeah, it's a, a nice little town to visit. There, like Randy said, there's shops and restaurants and now this is right off of Route 60 and 93, so you would take 60 to go east and west across Arizona and 93 to go north and south, so this is almost like the, the corners of Arizona. We've driven through here a number of times in our trips through Arizona and always said we needed to come back and stop, and so today we did. And we just really just walked around. It's Sunday afternoon. It's not really uh, very busy here today and not all the shops are open. You did go into one antique shop. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't too thrilled. But well, we, we don't need antiques with an Airstream, so you know no, we don't have room. No. But there are a number of restaurants, and uh, it seems to be like a, a place for a weekend ride to go to. Right. It's not a heavy, heavily populated area, which makes it nice to walk around. Yeah, that's true. There's a museum here. There's also the jail tree, where uh, they used to um, tie up inmates because they didn't have a jail. So you, if you were incarcerated here, you were chained to the tree. And they apparently had no escapes. I, I don't even know what to say. Well, I think Monty escaped. Yeah, there's no tying him down. Right. I thought I'd take a couple minutes and kind of show you around our campsite here at uh, Lake Pleasant. Th this campsites are kind of on the smaller side. They're you're all kind of carved in on this edge of this hill that the campground is built into, which is great because it you know, affords some really great views of the mountains and the lake around here. But it also makes the campground a lot smaller because you've got the slope between you and your neighbor. And this is probably one of the campgrounds that are a little bit more closer together. So in our particular campground, we don't have a lot of space here 
between the trailer and where the, the land starts to slope, we didn't really even have enough space to put our rug out. So that's something you got to consider here. And then I'll take you to the back of the trailer and we'll show you where the picnic table and the fire pit and everything is. We're now in the back half of the campground. You can see there's the back of the Airstream. And here's the picnic table. And one of the nice things that all these campsites do have is these cabanas. And I'm, I imagine those are probably really, you know, nice in the warmer weather when you want a little bit of shade over your picnic table so that you can enjoy it. But it is, um, some of these campsites, it's, it is going to be a little bit of a challenge to get into them because the cabana may be on the side of the uh, parking area. So you can pull your trailer in, but you may not be able to open up an awning or anything. We found that one of the other campsites we were in here previously, we had the cabana on the side and we couldn't open up the awning at all. Now, also one of the things to consider, uh, especially on this campsite and some of them, where the picnic table and the cabana is at the end of the campsite, that's gonna limit the length of what you can park in here. So in our case, we're got 28 feet trailer. We got the truck parked in front of it. We fit okay. Probably a 30, maybe a 35 foot trailer would fit in here with you still having room to park. It's going to be pushing it. You're going to have to back the truck right up to the trailer when you park the truck in here. Larger vehicles um, won't fit as well. In fact, our neighbor here has a motorhome and they have to park their tow vehicle, on the, their tow down the diagonal across the front. There's a fifth wheel up the hill a little bit that has a that they don't even have room to park their truck they park it down in front of the um, restroom and the parking space is there so that's something to take in consideration when you're booking a site is just check the size of the site make sure you can fit into it and and make sure that if you can't fit your tow vehicle in the site after you park your unit on there that you may need to park that in an alternate place and there are some each loop seems to have some alternate parking areas that you can use. This is probably the best feature of this campsite, and that is the view. As you can see, we uh, on our particular site, off the back of it, we've got this great view of the mountains and such, which is, which is really nice, because you get the sunset right over here, and this just turns to a beautiful red every night. So, it's one of the things we like about this campground, is the view, and there's some sites that are especially great um, there's some right along the edge of the hill here where you could park at your campsite would be right to the view which would be awesome. Haven't had one of those sites yet. Maybe in the future if we come back at some point we may get one of those sites. As you can see behind me there is a fire pit on these campsites. Now it can be iffy uh, if the park allows you to have fires or not. I know we've been into another park and when there is an air quality issue they do not allow you to have a campfire. Um, and I'm sure they can be times when the, the um, ground area is very dry and they won't allow you to have campfires. But while we're here, campfires were allowed. We didn't have one, but uh, we could have if we wanted to. We're on our way into Vulture City, and this is a, I guess it's almost a ghost town. It's an old mining town. It's an old mining town, and actually there is still a gold mine in an active, it's the largest gold mine in Arizona. But this is the original town that was alongside of the gold mine. This is where Henry Wickensburg uh, started out and found the gold, and essentially Wickensburg grew out of this, though we are about 12 miles outside of, of town. So we're gonna go head in there and see what there is to see. the Wells Fargo Post Office. Looks like a Beverly Hills. Yeah. yeah. The 
This is Henry Wickensburg's cabin behind me, and this tree is the local hanging tree. If you were caught stealing gold, this is where you met your fate. 18 men were hung from this tree. workshop. I guess they would mill lumber and other items here. This building served as the kitchen. So Vulture City was interesting. Yeah, we just finished our tour. There was, I think, about 16 buildings that you can go in and take a look at and see a lot of history, a lot of neat old furniture. Yeah, I mean, at first I kind of wondered what it was, but as you kind of go through, you, you realize that they're making a real effort to restore these buildings and keep them around for future generations, so it's kind of neat. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, I guess that's going to end our tour of Wickensburg and Vulture City, so we're going to head back to the campground now. Okay. Let's go. All right. We're ready to leave and on to our next campground. Yep, so if you want to see that, you got to check out our next video next so, week. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you follow along in our adventures. So until next week, we will see you down the road. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Randy, what's where? Yeah. Randy, what's with wearing that hat today? We're in Wickensburg. This is the... Um, try it again. Okay. Randy, what's with that wearing hat there?